Now, this big issue, it happened overnight in the series between India and South Africa over at Cape Town. Now, it's been a wonderful series, one all in the series. And in the third test, South Africa are chasing just over 200 to win the series. And uh, Ravi Ashwin was bowling to Dean Elgar and they went up for a big appeal. Let's just take a listen to what happens from the decision all the way through to the response from the Indians. Ashwin likes that. And he's given. And it's being reviewed. Original decision is out. Pitching in line. Impact in line. And wickets missing. That's impossible. Surely find better ways to win Super Sport. Focus on your team as well while they shine the ball, eh? Not just the opposition trying to catch people all the time. Whole country playing against 11 guys. Well, there's so much to unpack from that little bit of footage there. Extraordinary. The decision overturned. You saw the response from the Indians and targeting the stump mic and accusing the broadcaster, Supersport, there in South Africa, that they have manipula manipulated that, that Hawkeye review and made the ball bounce over the top. Strong accusation. Supersport have come out and responded and said, we don't actually do that. That's a company called Hawkeye. Mm. And like us at Fox, we just put it to air. Mm -hmm. So what do you make of that, the response? Uh, Fox Online, they said it's the most viewed and discussed cricket story since they've had an online portal wow, to discuss right? these issues. What do you think, Forney? Uh, I, I think that's disgraceful from the Indians, personally. I mean, decisions go with you, they go against you. Uh, that didn't go the way that they feel it should have gone. Uh, Virat Kohli's a legend of the game, but that's not the way to act. That's not the way to act in a game of Test Match cricket. You know, the ICC have to stamp this down. They have to stamp down on the Indian side. You can't get away with talking down the, the stump microphone like Ravi Ashwin has done and Virat Kohli, the Indian captain, has done. And yeah, Warnie, the point That's going on this. a smash halfway up middle, though. There's no so. way that's it, going over the top that far. He did look very... Even active. Erasmus shook his well, head. Ver Verak can't act like that, Warnie. Uh, you, you can't have, you know, senior players in the game. Focus on your team as well while they shine the ball, eh? Not just the opposition. Trying to catch people all the time. So that accusation there I'm interested in, Warnie, is it, this seems a bit premeditated from the end. It's something this has been building or brewing and there's an opportunity where it's got to a breaking point mm. and they've overflowed. I that just wonder if that's about, happened through the series, has it? Uh, yeah, there's been a bit of aggro between, right. in the series uh, between a few of the players, Jensen and Jasprit Bumrah. But that accusation about filming opposition teams shining the ball, I'm assuming that yes. goes all the way back to that very ground when the Australians Same were caught out on camera with the sandpaper. Yeah, um, look, it's an interesting one. Whether I, I'm not sure, I can. I'm not sure that should be happening for me, a captain of an international team. That happening down a stump mic, but sometimes frustration overload. You know, you just get so frustrated, and that's why I said I wonder if that's happened three or four times through mm. the series, and that was just like, okay, that's enough now. We can't, we can't have it anymore. But it's not a good look for the game. No, that's for sure. But. Um, that reference back to the Australians, I mean, there's all sorts of whispers out of that test match whether the, some of the South African players had some stuff on their gloves as well and were doing something very similar to what the Aussies were doing. But uh, Supersport decided not to show any of the South Africans, but only the Aussies. So the, maybe that's what it was referred to. I don't know. Um, whether they're just whispers and rumours, who knows. But um, I'm interested to watch how this unfolds. Well, whatever uh, happens, Gilly, is, you know, it's so important that the ICC step in. Yeah. Because you can't act like that. You know, whether you're frustrated or not, and, and of course we've all had moments on the pitch where you think something's gone against you, and it's absolutely right to feel frustrated. You're only a human being, but when you act like that as a captain and a, and a leader of our game, the ICC have to step in. They can't allow that to happen. What do they do? Well, he needs to be fined. He needs to potentially be, you know, suspended. You can't be acting like that as a, an international captain. I've oh, just had the, the halfway legal... up middle stump that was hitting though. <laughs> I think so. The legal... like halfway up middle stump. <laughs> it was not going that far over. So what you're saying, Hawkeye just triggered, oh, or, or I think or... they just pushed the wrong button or something because it's wrong. 